Welcome to Whiteboard. Are you aware of the Kawasaki syndrome that is spreading among little children these days? Let's go ahead and find out. What is Kawasaki disease? Kawasaki disease causes swelling in the walls of medium-sized arteries throughout the body. Almost always in young children. The inflammation tends to affect the coronary arteries, which supply blood to the heart muscle. It's one of the leading causes of heart disease in kids. What are the Kawasaki disease causes and risk factors? The inflammation of Kawasaki disease can make heart complications, include Inflammation of blood vessels, usually the coronary arteries Inflammation of the heart muscle Heart valve problems Any of these complications can damage your child's heart Inflammation of the coronary arteries can lead to weakening and bulging of the artery wall That increase the risk of blood clots which could lead to a heart attack or cause life-threatening internal bleeding. It can also cause problems with lymph nodes, skin, and the lining of a child's mouth, nose, and throat. So sometimes Kawasaki disease is called mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. What are the signs of Kawasaki disease? Kawasaki disease signs and symptoms usually appear in three phases. First phase. Signs and symptoms of the first phase may include a fever that is often is higher than 102.2 F and lasts more than three days. Extremely red eyes without a thick discharge. A rash on the main part of the body and in the genital area. Red, dry, cracked lips and an extremely red, swollen tongue swollen red skin on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet swollen lymph nodes in the neck and perhaps elsewhere irritability second phase in the second phase of the disease your child may develop peeling of the skin on the hands and feet especially the tips of the fingers and toes often in large sheets joint pain diarrhea vomiting abdominal pain Third phase. In the third phase of the disease, signs and symptoms slowly go away and less complications develop. It may be as long as eight weeks before energy levels seem normal again. What is the cause of Kawasaki disease? No one knows what causes Kawasaki disease. Scientists don't believe the disease is contagious from person to person. A number of theories link the disease to bacteria, viruses or other environmental factors, but none has been proved. Certain genes may make your child more likely to get Kawasaki disease. What are the risk factors? Three things are known to increase your child's risk of developing Kawasaki disease. Age. Children under 5 years old are most at risk of Kawasaki disease. Sex. Boys are slightly more likely than girls are to develop Kawasaki disease. Ethnicity. Children of Asian or Pacific Highland descent, such as Japanese or Korean, have higher rates of Kawasaki disease. When do you need to see a doctor? If your child has a fever that lasts more than three days, contact your child's doctor. Also, 
See your child's doctor if your child has a fever along with four or more of the following signs and symptoms. Redness in both eyes. A very red, swollen tongue. Redness of the palms or soles. Skin peeling. A rash. Swollen lymph nodes. Treating Kawasaki disease within 10 days of when it began may greatly reduce the chances of lasting damage. For a very small percentage of children who develop coronary artery problems, Kawasaki disease can cause death, even with treatment. So let's pay greater attention to children and let's aware of the symptoms. Thank you for watching. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe us on YouTube.